Now, keeping you and your family safe. This is Two Works For You Weather, certified most accurate. I was just going to say, we need one of those mm -hmm. for George <laughs> to make sure he's in here on time to do the weather. Yes, don't go, don't go <laughs> We can come him. find you. Yeah, it would be exactly. kind of fun to play with one of those, wouldn't it? You can't go too far because uh, yeah. we've got a lot of weather to talk about. Yeah, boy, we're moving into summer big time with these temperatures, mm -hmm. and uh, not only today, but for the rest of the week. So let's go ahead and get to the news. And we're kind of pulling out this little drought graphic because we don't see any big rain <laughs> chances anytime soon. Your yard may look like this. Obviously, <laughs> obviously, this is a hot week. Now, for today, we'll see highs between 100 and 106 in eastern Oklahoma with near record highs. And also, it's very humid. This means the heat index will be near 110. So it will feel hotter today than yesterday, even though the actual air temperature might not be quite as hot. 96 at noon, 102 at 3 p.m., and 103 at 5. Right now, as we look out over I-44 on a very hot Tuesday, we're already up to 93 degrees. We're already warmer than our normal high, this 100. This is the heat index. The culprit is the dew point temperature. Anytime that number even approaches 70 in the summertime, it feels that much worse outside. Uh, do have somewhat of a breeze today. Yesterday, we didn't have any wind. Today, we have a wind near 9 miles an hour. Look at Bristow and Oklahoma City. 97 right now in Bristow, 97 in Norman. And uh, Dina, I was checking on your mother out in Alva, Oklahoma, yes. western Oklahoma. It is 102 right now Woo. before lunchtime. Well, I'm glad I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> not that much cooler here. As you mentioned, there is a bit of a breeze out there from the south and southeast at about 10 miles an hour. So this should hopefully keep the ozone levels to, to be not quite as bad as they have been. Yesterday, we saw very high ozone levels across green country during the afternoon and evening hours. Piper two UHC is not showing any rain. If there are any thunderstorms that develop, they would develop towards southeastern Oklahoma and western Arkansas, but only one or two thunderstorms would be developing during the heating of the day, so we don't have a percentage in the forecast. This just looks like a blank map. This is actually a satellite view. There are just simply no large areas of clouds across the region. You can see the current temperatures warming up. If you have travel plans into Dallas today, you'll also see temperatures hot that direction into the 100s. Now, putting the future cast into motion is showing a few small areas of green. A few small thunderstorms trying to form, though this computer model is usually more optimistic than what actually happens. So there's not going to be that much rain out there tomorrow morning, another warm morning, and they'll be making another run toward 100 tomorrow. Futurecast isn't even showing any rain developing anywhere near us for tomorrow. Forecasting a high today of 104 in Tulsa. Around the rest of green country, could be as hot as 106 in a couple of locations. All of us will be over 100 degrees. Then coming up tonight will be another warm one, flow of 76. Southeast wind, upper 70s in Tulsa, lower 70s showing up outside of Tulsa County. Now, the seven-day forecast, the next four days will be the hottest of this current heat wave, with highs possibly as hot as 105 degrees again in near Tulsa. So we're talking about record heat. Looking ahead toward the weekend, if you have outdoor plans, hopefully they include water, a pool, a lake, some shade. We'll see temperatures at an over 100 for the weekend. Then looking ahead toward next week, this huge area of high pressure, which is helping to give us the hot weather, it doesn't look quite as intense. So instead of 105, may only be around 98, 99 degrees as we work our way into next week. Uh, but uh, I helps. guess that's an improvement. Yeah, yeah. it's better, better than 105. Yeah, it is. We'll take it. Thanks, George. Well,